Hi, it's Laura Lynn, and we're going to continue the series exploring different bear making suppliers websites. This is part two of Edinburgh Imports, which is located in California. The first video I showed you generally where uh, it, it was an overall um, tour of the site. Uh, in this one, this video, I'm going to go deeper into finding the mohair that you want, the fabric for your teddy bears. You can go to the website www.edinburghimports.com and you will arrive at their website here. There are several different ways you can get to all of their fabric. You can either click on this fabric uh, picture of the fabric here or click here. I'm going to click here this time. And when you just click on the fabric showing all of the fabric, you get to the beginning of their web catalog and it's listed alphabetically. And it looks like this. Now let me, ex you're, as you're looking at this, you might be looking and seeing what's A30-1000, A30-414, what do these letters mean and numbers mean? Well, I'm going to click on this one and we'll explain it here. This letter number designation was created by Edinburgh Imports and it is, um, and just Edinburgh is the one that uses it. The first part of the code refers to the, uh, how long the fur is, what kind of finish it has. The second number, the second designation, that refers to their color. So in this case, A30 is a two inch long fur, sparse straight mohair, and it's stretched with guard hairs. The color is white. So the A30 refers to the length two inch with three inch stretched guard hairs, sparse straight mohair. And any fur that you see with the designation of 1000 means that's white mohair. Now let me show you something else here. So we're going to go to the next one. This one is also A30. So it's also a two inch base pile, which means most of the fur is two inches long. It has three inch stretched guard hairs. Those are little um, hairs scattered throughout the pile that are a little bit longer. That makes it look a little bit more like real fur and sparse straight mohair. So that is the same as the last uh, mohair that we looked at, but it looks different. That's because the dash 414 refers to the color, which in this case is rust. For Edinburgh Imports, the numbers 414 is rust. Now this does seem a little overwhelming at first, but the more you use the website, the, the um, more familiar you will get with their uh, codes and it'll become easier. There is another way to do it instead of if um, going all the way through page by page to try to find what you want. You can do a search here, but you can either, if you know that you like those long, that A30, you can just search for all of the items starting with A. And you can see some of these here have AA30. Now those fabrics are still the two inch long, but the extra H tells them that they have, there's something else different about it. Uh, it has an antique curl finish. Another way you can search is you can, if you're looking for a short pile, a short fur, you can just click on short. And F50. The F50 refers to, it's a 5 16 inch pile and it's regular straight mohair. 4044 
refers to the color, which is honey in this case. But you can see that this is a short mohair. There are other, uh, in the F series, they have other finishes, just like when I showed you the A and the AA. For instance, FD50. It's still 5 16 inch mohair, but that D refers to the finish. It's not straight, it's distressed. I'll click on that larger image. See how it, it looks. It, it's been artificially distressed to look a little more aged. And the color 5060 is summer gold. There's more of the FDs. Now here is a G48. This is a shorter mohair than the F50, but they're listing them in alphabetical order. G48 is a quarter inch pile. It's a very short fur. And that's regular straight mohair. And here we have again Dash 1000, just like the first fabric I showed you, because this is also white. So I hope that gives you an idea of how to uh, of what these codes mean. The more you use it, the easier and more familiar you'll get with it. But you don't have to know them to order your mohair. Maybe you're looking to make a bear with some medium length mohair. So then I just went to all artist and then medium. And these are, some of them are 5 8 inch, some of them are 3 quarters inch, 7 16 inch you an idea of how to find the mohair that you're looking for. Now you might see something that's like, let's show this one. The code says KDW85-2-9519. What the heck is that? Well, the KDW85 refers to the length of the mohair and the finish. It's one and five eighths inch long, but it's swirly and distressed. So the D is referring to the distressed. It's a regular density. The dash two, that means it's tipped. It is a dark chocolate mohair, but it has black tips. So whenever you see a dash two on Edinburgh Imports website, that means that the fabric has tips to it, which I like using tipped mohair. We're gonna go over how to order. As you can see here, the price is $241 a yard. But you do not have to order a full yard. A full yard at Edinburgh Imports, for, with, they, they will show what the dimensions are of a full yard of their fabric, 36 inches by 56 inches. If you want to order just a half a yard, then you'll get half of that. If you want a quarter yard, there are two different ways to order a quarter yard. You can just order a straight quarter yard, which is nine inches by 56 inches long. Or you can order what is commonly ordered in the bear making world. You can get a fat quarter. And fat quarters, that's the F1 quarter here, those are preferred because it is usually easier to place your pattern pieces on an 18 by 28 inch piece of fabric than it would be to, to place them on a nine inch by 56 inch piece of fabric. And you can even order, if you just wanted to order an eighth, you can order a fat eighth, which is nine by 28 inches. And we can see, we am gonna add that to the cart. So you can see that that piece is only $31.33. You, you don't have to buy a full yard of that. Of course, you do have to pay shipping after that as well. Well, I hope this mini tour of the fabric section of Edinburgh Imports website was helpful to you. I think you'll have a lot of fun going through all of the fabrics and seeing what they have to offer, trying to decide what you're gonna create your next bear out of. If you have any questions, that I didn't answer here, uh, go ahead and comment down below and I'll be happy to try to answer a question you might have. Get your free ebook, 
how to make teddy bears, which includes seven different patterns at teddybearacademy.net slash free dash YT. Just sign up on that page for the bear making tips and patterns newsletter to get your free ebook.